welcome back to and this guide in today's video we are going to show you which is better miro or fig jam let's begin now both are popular online collaboration tools but they serve a slightly different purposes and have different strengths so let's talk about miro first basically it's one of the most popular online collaboration tool that provides a digital whiteboard for teams to work together in real time for example here on the dashboard you can simply create a new board but you also have an option for the recommended templates you have the mind map the kanban framework quick retrospective brain writing customer touch point map visual table customer journey mapping roadmap mapping and of course the intelligent templates now you see you can simply click on the new board if you wanted to create a new board from scratch the thing with mirrors is that it has an intuitive design it is really for users uh for any skill levels to create collaborate and share ideas it doesn't matter if you're technically good you don't have any background with Miro. it's a lot easier again you can explore templates here but you have to make sure that the template that you are working with is the free version or available only in the free version. There are templates which is highly customizable but only works with the pro subscription. We will deal with the pricing later. But again, you can simply click on the explore templates if you want it. But let's use the uh, intelligent this one. You can preview to make sure that you, this is the uh, template that you wanted to check or use because you don't want to commit to is uh to not waste time all right so if you think this is the uh, tool or the template for you just click on the use template wait for it to load and then you would have an access to this board which you can share with your team members or if you're working with multiple freelancers with a client with a boss with a company with a partner or collaborator so you see you have 54 objects to work with you have a sticky note right here you have the tags you have the frame you can put an image here this one right here okay and again you see the reactions this is going to be from the uh your team or if you are working with other uh people here inside the canva board now dk of course they have thumbs up love it they can have all of these reactions you also have an option to disable their reactions real time and of course when you click on the uh plus button here you see now mural integrates seamlessly with many other tools like slack microsoft teams jira google workspace and more enhancing its functionality within the existing workflows all right so there's a lot for example if you want to discover and see all the uh, tools that you can migrate or integrate with Miro, you have all this at your disposal salesforce github AWS cost calculator, Autodesk for Miro. So there's a lot that you can work with here. All right. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Now you see, once you have created your first uh, Miro board here, you have an option to present. For example, board. All right. You can have a stop. And again, people that you're working with have the uh, option to uh, to react. They say if they don't like it, they love it and whatnot. Click on stop. At the, uh, at the upper right corner, you have an option to share this specific board to the uh, people that you're working with. I'm going to title it as a mirror versus fake jam. Hold on. Let me just share this again. Save. And again, you have an option to invite people using the uh, email address. If you want it, you can invite them via Slack, Google, or Microsoft. You can also put an embed here and publish but the thing is this board is private only invited people who are assigned will see it okay now again click on publish if you wanted you can publish template via the my reverse template you can publish as a community template and give millions of people access to your ideas or you might want to cost use the custom template but again remember that you need to click the upgrade button and see if this is going to be the starter pack right now I'm using the free but if you wanted to scale up you might want to use the cheapest which is the starter you can unlock unlimited and private boards with essential features you can upgrade in a lot more 
if you want to scale up you might want to go to the enterprise but i suggest you deal with the sales professional first before you dive in into a big commitment all right and then after that this is just one of the uh, reasons why Miro is one of the best platforms because it really is easy to use all right you can get the apps via the uh, apple store the uh, google play store or on the, on the windows it's all up to you or you can simply go to the website mirror.com and try the uh, app for yourself now the next contender is fake jam similarly to miro it's a collaborative online whiteboard tool developed and designed to facilitate brainstorming diagramming and team collaboration now the thing is similarly to the uh, miro you can simply click on the templates here that you wanted for example uh, if you wanted to work with uh, meetings you can click on this option right here the more you familiarize yourself with the uh, big jam you see it's very clean intuitive and easy to navigate which reduces the learning curve for new users like me i'm not really tech savvy so you see if there's going to be a timer music and voting all right, this is very interactive that lets you support real-time collaboration, allowing multiple users to work on the same board simultaneously, making it ideal for remote teams. You can, of course, put in the minutes right here. You can custom the uh, music to a acoustic ambient, button smash, it's Friday, lo-fi, hip-hop, and a lot more. And then when you click on this option right here, you can basically... Um, use the provided templates for different use cases right here such as you know one i'm using for the meeting but of course you can use it for uh, brainstorming journey mapping and of course productivity all right because fig jam is a web-based tools right here you can simply access it from any device with an internet connection ensuring that team members can collaborate anytime anywhere all right so this is going to be the tide shift you see there's a lot of that you can do from here. This is one of the best things about Figma. Um, it's really affordable and a free version available in paid plans. We're going to deal with the uh, paid plans right now. Now, if you click on the page one right here and add a new page, you see you need to up upgrade your plan to get unlimited pages in all your Figma uh, files. Basically, the starter are just one page for trying things out. One page per G uh, Fig Jam file three figma design and use three fig jam files and one project but of course if you wanted to upgrade to professionals you will have all the unlimited pages and fig jam files and if you click on the see all features this is one of the things that you can get all right three collaborative fig jam files and of course most of the people right um using a uh, fig jam if they are good accustomed to the interface they use the professional which is five dollars for full seat per month you save 40 percent and you get all these perks and benefits that you take and take take advantage to now our verdict is that if you need a versatile powerful tool for various types of projects and if your team relies on complex workflows with multiple integrations you go for miro now, if you're a design-focused team looking for a simple, intuitive tool for a quick brainstorming sessions, especially if you're already using Figma, go for uh, Figma. But the best choice depends on your team's specific needs and workflows, all right? But again, I do suggest you go to their official websites to compare on yourself, all right? You go to Figma and then and Miro, all right? So that it could help you make an informed decisions on what to choose between Miro and Figma. Okay? And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.